blessed day my people saying so today's video we have things to talk about and one of them is about cartel and this news is coming from IRFM basically saying that cartel and his three co-accused gets provisional date of April 2024 to appeal their life sentences now this news make a lot of Gaza fans basically optimistic them feel like cartel will be free by next year so of course Gaza fans them them not give up on them entertainer or them artists right my people so I can actually read the article so you can understand what's going on and only can tell me if no feel like the vibes cartel and his three co accused will be free next year when them actually try to take on this appeal situation. Is it more people? So that or that. Separately from that, we're gonna talk about a woman who is now asking for some advice as it relates to her friend who is staying with her zine, but her friend have an artistic baby. And according to her, it's like the baby I met being nice, right? I think that she's like what two, two and a half, something like that, and she's making a whole lot of nice. And the friend said the nice kind of trigger anxiety, right? and she want to ask her for leave so she wants some advice as to how she can ask her friend for leave with her child without making her feel a way Zane. now it is more deeper than how I say it you know, my people Zane, I actually have a post where I go read to you know, and when I go get a better understanding you understand so you know the whole situation is sad so as I read it you can tell me what kind of advice you have to give to this girl also I go show you some comments right and also I go talk about Larsa Pippin which is the ex-wife of Scotty Pippin reacting to Jordan comments that he made about her dating his son, you understand people? So I'm gonna read the article later down in this video, alright? And also we're gonna talk about dancehall artist TJ. Now, of course, a lot of women know that TJ have one of the hottest songs right now, which is the Drift song Zane. And it seemed like him and a producer kind of catch up in a little situation as to who actually owns the song. Yes, more people. So TJ and the producer is going back and forth at it, and TJ go live and you know him tell the producer for go SOT mother and all them things. So I'm actually read the article where I explain that you understand my people so before we're gonna further into the topics don't forget to like share and subscribe also subscribe to my youtube channel news mix and also head over to my instagram page mix up time four all right my people so first thing we're gonna talk about is cartel and this update that we're getting and as we say a lot of gaza fans over there celebrate because they feel like freedom street is very very near for the entertainer anyway this is how it's a Cartel and three co-accused gets provisional date of April 2024 to appeal their life sentences. Cartel and his co-accused could be heading to the Privy Council in the United Kingdom for the appeal against their sentences as early as next April. This as the Privy Council has reportedly set a provisional date of April 16 to 18th in 2024 to hear the appeal. The attorney representing the dancehall entertainer, whose given name is Adija Palmer, confirmed the dates with Iria Fem news this morning july the 11th while noting the dates could change bert samuel expressed hope that the men would be successful in their appeal cartel sean storm campbell kaira jones and andre st john's were convicted by a jury in 2014 for the takeout of clive lizard williams in 2011 cartel was sentenced by justice lennox campbell to life on order to serve 35 years before being eligible for parole the other men were given life and each order to serve 25 years before being eligible for parole the men lost their bid in the court of appeal they then appealed to jamaica's final appellate court which is the privy council so yes more people that is what's taking place you see me so as i said that news came out today and you don't know some people excited and things somebody said wish they could just keep this private uh when him free him just surprise everybody the person had confidence him i'm gonna be the case somebody said yeah sunfest 2024 <laughs> Why them people are full of confidence? Somebody say, wish every black man the best life and you learn no man for the behind bars. Somebody say, if this was a regular person, would y'all be saying he should be free with a question sign? If a man do something to another man, he just take away a kid or a kid's father and a man breadwinner. We all just love the artist, but if you do the crime, you do the time. No sin goes unpunished. Somebody say, um, good luck, bro. A pure corruption out here. Somebody said, Oh, no, get too excited. Another person said, Good news for the cartel and the Gaza supporters. Somebody said, Seriously, all the way in a 2024. Why, why it couldn't be this year? After all, them been had him lock up, shape my head. So, I want to see what I go on. You see it? So, you don't know a lot of persons. More comments was there, but I can't bother read it. But most people, them just feel like, say, you know, the entertainer will be freed next year. So, I guess they are speaking it into being. Like, we'll watch and see. 
you yeah, understand? The question more I ask you, my people, see, you more, I don't feel be honest with me. I don't feel like the cartel are going to be free next year after this whole appeal thing, you know, gets done and over with. I don't feel like say, the entertainer was set up by officers, because I don't know them, say, text messages, text messages were tampered with and all type of things. So, I don't know anything about this in the comment section, all right? All right, so moving on to the next topic now. So, as I did say at the start of the video, a woman is asking for some advice as it relates to how to tell her friend and her artistic youth to leave. You understand? Because she said, you know, the child will make a whole and nice and it, it, it basically uh, mess with her then. Put it that way, Zine, because she said, the youth will make be a nice in the day and in the night. So let me get to this post right about now, right? So the person said, my friend was living in Jamaica and she came here to the States to have her baby. And then when the youth turned two months, she went back to Jamaica. In November last year, she called me and said she bring the youth to get his checkup. And the doctor said from January 2022, the youth hasn't put on not even an ounce and their concern. The youth wasn't eating anything, only the bottle she was drinking. She said once the youth was born here, she want to come up and take her to, to the DR to get a checkup. Fast forward, and she come up. She found out that the youth is autistic. She was nowhere close to where she should be at her age. The doctor referred her to a development program, and she seen five different therapists. This was in March. My friend decided that she's going to run off. So she's here now, and this is the issue I'm having. Because the youth can't talk, she's almost two and a half years old. She screams and makes loud noises right through the day and the night. I know she can't help it, but it triggers my anxiety, and I've been having constant anxiety attacks. I love my friend dearly, and I love the child. How do you think I can address the issue without offending her? I don't know how much longer I can take it. So that is what she has to say. Zine people, so I want to tell her or give her some advice on how she could go about addressing this, right? But I also shown a few of the comments demanding. Some of them kind of harsh. <laughs> you understand, but you know some people not play, right? One person say, make her, make her and her picnic go them way because doing for people never pays. You can still be friends, but every woman needs their own yard. And somebody responded to that comment that I just read and them said, wow, this is very cool. As a very present and active aunt to an artistic child, I know that it takes patience and love. Music is a great way to help these children. My nephew likes Afrobeats. I would dance with him. He also likes words of affirmations. He also likes physical touch. I would hug him and hold him close until he calms down. Every time they do something, give a small reward. It could be a simple, simple high five. The weather is nice now, so outdoor activities, allowing them to play and discover things just create a safe space for them instead of being frustrated which only frustrates them even more another person said just say if you want her out with this long paragraph and mentioning runoff the youth probably don't have autism probably a speech delay issue child close to three years old everything on the think is autism take the youth to a speech development um specialist Somebody says, Senda, you have to sit your friend down and tell her the truth and how you feel about the situation. Also ask her if she could go to any family, etc. to give you a break. That way they sound like a nice way because you don't know you have to definitely take care of your mental health and things. So. A next person said, my thing is, I'm sure during the visit, you notice those behavior from the youth and you suck it up. Why you make sure run off? I understand your anxiety, but part of it is just you no longer want them there. Where she forgot now with artistic youth, illegal and nowhere to stay. We never tell her for go home from then. See why I'm not long out my hand and ask for help. I right, read one more comment. Somebody say your friend decided to run off with an artistic youth and live with you and you agreed. That's a tough situation, but your peace and mental health is being disturbed here. So your friend has to go. It's that simple. Nobody can decide for run off. That's not my family. I agree to that because when you can't straighten out, that's when your plan that's when the plan you stuck with me. No, I'm not depend on that, but just have a talk with your friend and let her know it's too much. It's best she find a place. So yes, my people, when you see some of the comments them, I want to tell me if you don't agree with those comments. 
And yeah, what would you do if you was in this woman position? You'd make your friend know, or you'd have just, you know, suck it up and just continue to make she and the youth stay with you. Leave it in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Scotty Pippen, ex-wife Larsa Pippen, feeling some kind of way as it relates to what Jordan, Michael Jordan said about her dating his son. You understand what I say? Remember, I'm son. is like, what, 32 of them say, I believe, and she is like 45 or something like that. So, you know, some people have a problem with that. But anyway, my people, this is what the story I say. Larsa Pippen traumatized after Michael Jordan's comment on son's relationship. Larsa and Pippen said she was embarrassed and traumatized following Michael Jordan's apparent disapproval of her relationship with his son. The 49-year-old made the comment on the couple's separation anxiety podcast after the basketball legend was asked by a paparazzi if he approved of Marcus' romance with the Real Housewives of Miami star, to which Jordan replied, No, you thought it was funny, Larsa told Marcus. 32 during the episode aptly titled father knows best adding i didn't think it was funny there is nothing funny about it i kind of felt like it went everywhere and i was kind of embarrassed larsa explained she felt uneasy because she believed the public thought she was lying about comments made earlier this year when she said both families approve of the relationship i think people started to think that i lied and said that our parents are fine because I was doing interviews and saying both of our families are fine, Larsa said. When I would say that, I felt like I didn't embellish that, and I would say both of our parents want us to be happy. I do understand that it's not awkward for us to be together because it's us, but it's probably awkward for my ex, Scotty Pippen, and your dad because they have their own relationship or whatever it was. I wasn't part of that. You weren't a part of that. So I feel like for them, it probably is weird. It probably is weird for your dad. I can't be mad. I understand. Oh my God, I was traumatized. I was like, what are we going to do? People think I lied. She continued, Larsa and Marcus made headlines earlier this month when Jordan was spotted leaving dinner in Paris and was asked by a photographer what he thinks of his son's relationship with the reality star. Jordan, who won six championships with Larsa's ex-husband Scotty Pippen while on the Bulls in the 1990s, let out a loud laugh while getting into an SUV with his wife of 10 years, Yvette Preto, in a video obtained by TMZ. When asked if he approves of his son relationship with Larsa, Jordan said no. Afterwards, Larsa faced some backlash over comments made in March on the Tamron Hall show when she explained that both her and Marcus' families were in great place and she felt as though Jordan gave the couple his blessing. Marcus did most of the talking on Tuesday episode with Larsa claiming his father's comment was nothing more than a joke. That was likely the result of too much of his sin caro tequila. Marcus added that his father had texted him right after after the paparazzi encounter to make sure he didn't take it the wrong way. Obviously, we knew ahead of time because he called me and texted me and wanted to make sure that I didn't take anything the wrong way. But then when the article came out, he texted me again and he said, hell no, and that's not what the implications were. He said, Marcus added that he felt Lassa was nervous and that she potentially questioned if he was being dishonest about his family's impression of their relationship. He went on to explain explain how the root of the situation is that many focus on his dad's relationship with Pippen, which, which has seemingly soured in recent years. Larsa divorce from Scotty Pippen, 57, was finalized in December 2021, roughly three years after she filed. The Pippens initially split in 2016, but reconciled a short while after. The ex is married in 1997 and share four children, son Scotty Jr., 22, Preston, 21, Justin, 18, and 14 year old daughter Sophia. So, yes, my people. So, I don't know still. Is it that Jordan feel away, but him not really want to make him son feel away? You understand what I say? Because obviously, you know, it must, you know, it must look away, man, for your son, they with your friend or you know, ex best friend, whatever kind of relationship him and Scotty Pippen have now, Zin, but then used to play basketball together. So, you must feel away for your youth. <laughs> Go there with the man wife. I don't know more people, but only can tell me anything about this in the comment section, yeah, man. So the next thing we're going to talk about is TJ Up Top Boss. Basically, blasting a producer over the drift songs in. And yeah, we just going to get right into this article right away. 
So it's a TJ Slams producer, DJ Mark, over ownership of hit song Drift. Drama is brewing around TJ Summer and Tim Drift. Though Jason DJ Mark McDowell is credited as the producer for the infectious track, the up top boss says the actual instrumentalist and producer is a solid agency mate, Panda, with the record attracting more opportunities for TJ, including publishing and recording deals with Warner Music. The Sing J claims DJ Mark is trying to swoop down on production credits to capitalize off the song. A Panda song, you cannot get the song, TJ said during an Instagram live on Monday. You do not produce the song. You know Bill Rhythm. You know have a contract between you and Panda. Love the song, make the song strive. DJ Matt did not respond to Dan Salmag request for a comment up to the time of publishing. Sharing the story behind the creation of GIF, TJ said Panda sent him the rhythm titled Bang a Rock on March 5th. Panda linked me him same one be a producer, but it a go take a lot for him. So I said Panda, no problem. Panda is no newcomer to music, but worked as a ghost instrumentalist on songs like Skeng, Idiot, Spice, Baker Man, and Vibes Cartel Tied Forever. TJ recorded Drift in Miami, Florida, then sought to find the right producer to use as the face of the record. Consulting with selector Boom Boom, he was advised to self-produce Drift, yet he decided it's a Panda song, but me go put Mac on it same way. The alleged arrangement is now creating conflicts surrounding copyright authorship and royalties. You gotta have your people them know I reach out to Warner Music I tell Warner Music how are your song bro. TJ said on IG Live, you never be the rhythm bro, a panda be the rhythm bro and if you and if your little people them were assigned to nowadays bro me never even want it to reach you so feel, feel like say a people are program you or them thing that bro, young panda never have no agreement to the song he later added, if you feel like say a money we are get off of the song Nobody now get no money off of the song. If I call your phone and put up on my song, why you feel me would I get money and not give you money? TJ said. TJ went on to the label DJ Mac Corrupt and Bad Mind, adding that he should have stayed in a drama free lane instead of including him. All I text my phone and tell me about member who you got strength from. You never bust TJ. I have rocks to riches. I have own a lane. How much song before you? You're too bad mind. You're too corrupt youth. You're a vampire. You do it to the next youth where produce speed off. You're too effort, bro. He added, you know a vampire in a dance hall. When you see the youth, them arise. Loud the youth, DJ Mac. Drift is nearing 1.5 million streams on Spotify and is getting significant airplay on radio in the US. The music video has attracted 5.3 million views. The Bang Rock rhythm also features Badness Upgrade by Chronic Law, flames wrapped by Kaka High Flames and Tanso by Distance. 23 year old DJ Mack is also credited for producing several other hit songs over the last two years, including Valiant Speed Off, Josh's Born Fighter, and 25 to 8, Ritical Chosen, Squash Ray 2 Ray 2, and Chronic Law Still a Bleed. So, yes, my people, that is what TJ up top boss officer you understand. Hopefully, this whole situation can get resolved between him and the producer. You understand? Because at the end of the day, drift it a go on with itself. You understand? Holy of streams, all of views, and TJ even get for sign a big deal based on that song as it are song and video. So the negativity around the song it no needed right now. You understand? So hopefully them can solve it and do what them need for doing stuff like that. You understand? I'm some people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.